What's going on everybody, it's your boy Fearless here and today we're going to look at a couple key secrets to getting your hi-hats to hit every single time. Alright, so let's jump right into this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is find a good hi-hat sample that is actually high quality and sounds really good. So we're going to go with this one today. Alright, so once you have that bad boy loaded up, there's a couple things that I like to do right away. First of all, I turn off the snap. I put the voices down to three, makes it a little more gritty and sound better. Turn down the decay and the release completely. Alright, and then from there we can start building our pattern. So one thing to take into consideration is what is your BPM? If it's below 100, you're going to want to do four bars of 808 pattern. Otherwise, if you're above the 100 BPM, since the time is basically doubled, you're going to need to do eight bars so it's consistently different throughout since we're under 100 bpm we're going to go ahead and make a four bar pattern and i'm just going to go ahead and draw out these hi-hats first thing so now that we have a consistent pattern going we can go ahead and mess with the sound a little bit more all right so now what i do is i usually turn the sustain down all the way and then i put, go ahead and play with the decay knob until i get it to a certain amount that i like There. So basically what's happening when I do this is it's not playing the full sample It's actually I'm controlling how long the sample actually plays so when I'm building out patterns I usually put it in the triplet grid mode and I usually play with the 32s and the 16s And I just get something that sounds good if there's always a good room right here to put it in the beginning Or you could either put it on like the second or the fourth bar and it's gonna sound really good. I'll show you what I mean All right, so it sounds good there, but you could also put it here on the four And then once I have a couple things filled in, what I like to do is go through some of the notes and put them down instead of having them all straight across in a line. I like to take some of them and put them down just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Another thing that I like to do is put doubles every once in a while. So basically you just fill in another note off the grid there and it just makes it, it just gives it a little pizzazz. All right, other things you can do is you can go up the scale so you can do something like this where it goes up in the note length or you could do the opposite you could go down like this all right so one other thing that you can do to make this more dramatic is you can actually take out some of these hi-hat notes every once in a while so all right some other things so when i have like a little triplet here and it's not one of the faster ones. What I like to do is usually start lower and then go up. So I would like basically raise these up like a little ramp on my velocities and it gives it a little swing into it. So on the ones that are a little bit faster here, I would do the opposite. I would start up tall and the velocities would go down and down for each note, just a little bit at a time. And then for every other note that's not a fast one, you just basically wanna change up the velocities a little bit so that it makes it more humanistic. Boom guys, those are the hi-hat secrets to go ahead and get your hi-hats to hit every single time that you're making them. Hope you found that useful. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because we're uploading new tutorials every single day. And other than that, I'll be seeing you again in the next one. Peace out.